Hello everyone, welcome back to the Flotsam Colony. We're back and today I'm thinking about trying to make our colony a little bit better with storing items around town to try to make it a little bit more effective, a little bit better with storing, for example, when we want to cook some fishes. We want to have the raw fishes nearby and we also want to store the cooked fishes nearby which reduces the running around the town and uh, making our people work better pretty much. So we already started with a few things. So over here we want to keep a few fishes. We can also keep a few more of them. So we can add the most of the fishes. And here we will be grilling them. And here we will be washing them. And we also have one over here which is a little bit far away. But we can also store some fishes nearby to this one. So we have to figure out which one do we have on have here. We want to have gobbler fillet and seaweed sheets. We want to have flounder fillet. Unbottled filet and seaweed sheet. Okay, so let's look into this one. Let's remove everything to start with. So here we have seaweed sheet. Unbottled fish. Unbottled filet. Grilled flounder can go there. Then we have unbottled roll. And here we have gobbler roll. So we're gonna store them inside here as well. And we also want to store quarter flounder, so we can drop the food there really quickly. And we also want to have flounder filet. So now we should be able to cook whatever we need to cook from these items in here. And what we can also do is to uncheck those things for other buildings, just to make sure it's going to be better. And the best way for that might be to actually set a lot of places to none instead. And then just fill in what we want to have there instead. So this one, for example, I do think we want to have... I guess a little bit of firewood and a little bit of fishes. So I'm gonna have firewood and a bunch of different fishes in this one. I'm just gonna have a lot of different ones. But we're not gonna store any like... Um, I guess we could store a few of those. That could be good. And a seaweed sheet as well. So that's gonna be quite good. We have a lot of storage to go through to do these things. But it's, I think it's gonna be worth to do. So in this one, we are doing firewood and planks nearby, so this one getting some planks. And we have another one over here where we're doing firewood. So we may want to store wood close by, so in this one, let's have, so we only have... Let's only go dry wood, and we can also go firewood. Or maybe only dry wood and wet wood, let's go for that. The problem with this stove, we have to keep in mind that we still should have a few storage places around like these over here. Where we will pretty much drop anything. Except for a few things. We don't want to have the cooked food over here. But I think it's pretty good to have it set up so we can drop most things here. Because then we can drop them here and easily go out quickly on the ocean again, right? So I think that's going to be pretty good. But we could remove a few more. So I'm gonna remove everything related to food and fishes of these. So here it would be pretty awesome to have some pre-made filters. So we can just change it like this will be a fish storage, this will be a cook storage, this will be a wood storage to store a certain amount of things. In Stoneheart we have some really cool things like that with the Ace mod. We can set up the different uh, filters per storage container. It's pretty awesome. So no more fishes is going to go in this one. And we may also want to move the seaweed the seaweed and the seaweed spores. And instead we can push them a little bit deeper into our town, right? And we can have them like next to our seaweed grower that we have over here. So in this one, we may not want to have a lot of wood anymore. So. We do have some drying nearby though, but I think we're gonna move that to a different place. Uh, so let's add some seaweed to this, and to this one as well. I don't think we need that amount of storage for seaweed, but maybe we'll do. So we're gonna remove the water from that, and then we're gonna make some new storage. So let's see if we can build some new ones. So here we have a storage yard, and um, maybe over here would be pretty good. Then we can make a little walkway. Next to this one, we can go all the way down. I think we can squeeze in another one. There we go. It's going to be able to store some good stuff. So those are going to have some wood. And we may want to have another one 
maybe a small one somewhere around here. But first, let's make another walkway. So maybe something like that, and then we add in a little storage container, and this one can have some wet wood and dry wood, or maybe both, I don't know, we will see. Uh, but this one we can have one wet and one for dry wood. We still gotta make sure we have enough storage for anything. And uh, we have some very very first drifters. U-boat and flow. It's really low in water, so we have to try to improve the water. We do have 11 waters now, so we should be safe for the next day. We should be pretty good. Food-wise, it looks like we're okay as well. We do need to have 8 water, 8 food every day now. But I think it's also time that we move our boat a little bit. Towards our little seagull friend that we were just gonna rescue far over there. Uh, but let's see, this one, I don't think I've been to one of these, have I? We're at cars on the rocks, but it looks like there's like big truck on it. So I'm not sure if I've been to one of these. I may have been to, but I don't really remember it. Oh, here it is. Red cars on the rocks. I don't know, this doesn't really look like some rocks. It looks more like a bridge to me, right? Uh, but this one anyway. There's some metal things on it. They had it coming, clouding up our sunny sky. At least they help us survive now. And this one has some metal and also a generator, so that's really good. I'm just going to send one boat over though, that's going to be good enough. And uh, we're going to gather some more plastic, we're really low on that now. But we should be safe on water today. Got some two boats to that one, do we have some fishes? Yes we do. And we can send two fishermen to that, and I guess we could collect a little bit of wood over here. We always need to have a little bit more wood. That's gonna be good, and you see they ate a lot of things. But now the water level should have gone up a little bit on our people. Yeah, one more little dot on them, so they're gonna be happy little drifters. But let's see here, firewood, we have a lot of firewood. Uh, let's see, we may want to decrease that now again then, because we have way too much. We have to set it to 40, that's a little bit overkill maybe. Let's put it down to 20 again, and see if that's gonna work. I don't want to spend all of my wood on that and we don't want to work with things if we don't have to work with them we gotta be careful with our workforce as well they gotta do things that matter most of the time oh we can do another solar panel that would be pretty awesome yeah let's do another one of these this one uh, maybe we could have it over here It's kind of nice to have them here though, so I'm actually going to see if I can make a little warp go in here. And see if I can squeeze it in here. Yes, awesome. That's going to be a little solar farm. And uh, I guess we're going to get a power line around here. Because then we can stretch it out to different directions. Currently we have two different things connected to the main power on the boat. And we can have a third one linking to this one, linking to the solar panel. Or we can link from this one to that one, we we'll probably do that instead. But it's good that we have the polar if we have need it later on. So let's see if we can do some more food. We don't want to have people starving tomorrow, and I currently don't have to on maintain these things. Because I would love to maintain them all at the same time, but the game doesn't allow us to do that, unfortunately. Yeah, but let's see if we can do a little bit of cleaning. We can make a lot of gobbler fillet, it looks like. So let's do that. We put a maintaining that for now. I really wish I could click two different things at the same time. It would be awesome. I have people working with that a lot of the time. But also, I guess it's good to be able to go and check in from time to time to see what's going on over there. What we could do would be to do maybe another fish washer. And that way we would know pretty much that we always clean two different kinds of fishes. I'm gonna do that for now. But it would be nice maybe to have it over here. But we don't really have space for that. So I'm gonna wait with that. This one though, we have to put it to maintain some seaweed cheats. That's gonna be good. Now we're getting some clean fish. We got the jelly bean picking up the clean fish. That's gonna be awesome. Let's have a look in the resort. What can we do? Maybe large storage yard would be awesome. Or maybe big houses, that would be cool. Let's do that one. That's gonna be great. 
And now we can connect our new solar panel. Let's do that. Link it up to this one. There we go. More power. And then we can link that one to this one. If you want to do that. It doesn't help with anything. But it's kind of cool to have it like that. And then we can keep dragging out to a few more places with this one later on. And we have a lot of seaweed spores at the moment. So I'm going to get another one of these. In here, I think we can probably squeeze in another storage. Yes. So these two, let's uh, change them and uh, let's have wet wood and dry wood and the same for this one. And on this one, let's do the very same thing. There's a lot of fishes on these ones. So I'm probably gonna get them to go over to our other storage places. Hopefully pretty soon. And over here, I think we're gonna do another storage jar. We can squeeze it in exactly there. So I wanna have some good good fish on that one, and I also do want to have some firewood on it. Because we are gonna use some firewood when cooking in here, right? Aren't we? Or we maybe not doing that for this one. Oh, you don't? Okay, we actually use power. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're just gonna store some fishes on it then. And this one, I'm not even sure if we wanna use anymore. I think we wanna just skip this one for a bit. Instead, focus on our better food over here. The water is pretty good at the moment. Picking up some of steel, we need to get a little bit more uh, floaters and uh, planks. But it looks like we're getting some, so let's send maybe one more boat over there. And uh, I think we're gonna move our boat after we collected all those good things. Because we really want to get our little eagle friend. But we have to make some food. I think I made a few for him though. Yes, we do we have some bird chow. Okay. It looks like they kind of work the same. They can gather plastic waste and also wet wood. That's going to be good to have another pair of extra wings to fly around, right? going to be awesome. And we do have an firewood over here to make firewood. Maybe we want to have another storage yard over here. We can store some dry wood in it, and maybe firewood as well, but mostly dry wood. Maybe we can squeeze in a little smaller storage as well. Our colony is starting to get quite big, I gotta say. It's getting really, getting really, really big. And we are gonna be having a little bit low on food today, though. A little bit low on that. But if we're gonna be fine, it's just gonna be one day. We have a lot of water at least, so we're gonna be fine on the water. Let's see if there's any other food we can do here. Flounder for the lake. Can we get some more of those? No, we can't. We can make a lot of bird chow though. Looks like we might have to unbottle some more fishes. Okay, there we go. Now we should be getting some fishes. I think I maybe clicked the wrong one before when I was experimenting a little bit. But now we should be getting more, so we should be able to do this one, as we get more seaweed sheet, that is. But we can also make some food here if we are desperate, if we have some raw seaweed. Hey. Yeah, but let's move our boat. We're gonna go towards our little seagull friend over here. And uh, let's make a quick stop here by the shack town. That's a good place to get some unpolluted, great tasting food. A good good food left over from before, you know, the flooding came around, right? So that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty good, okay. So here we have a little bit of wet wood as well, and here we have the beautiful little shack town with some good good canned food. We're gonna send some two boats over to the gather over there. Get a little bit more plastic waste, we're gonna need that. We spent the one we got recently very very quickly. We gotta get a little bit more of that. I think we're actually gonna grill a little bit of food now because we are lacking a little bit of seaweed. So we're gonna wait with making this um, gobbler roll for a while and we're gonna go for a little bit more polluted wood for a while. Okay, we have established the check down, awesome. Over here we have an polluted wood as well. Let's send uh, some boats over to gather from that. 
Should be able to get some good, good dry wood. And here we can do a little bit of fishing. Hopefully get some more flounders. That would be awesome. That's some really good food for our people. And I'm going to get a third seaweed grower. At least for now, we're going to have three of them. So this one, we're going to have five wood, dry wood. Need a few more floaters, so we can do another of the solar stills, gather some water. Oh, that was really quick with the fishing. That went really quick. And that one is almost done as well. My people are doing such a good job going around the ocean so quickly. Thank you, thank you, my people. So, let's look around. I think we can move ahead now again. So, Seagull, I think they are over here. Yeah, over there. Awesome. I think we're gonna go straight for it now. Been waiting so long for my little seagull friend, so I really want to make a visit and get him to join our town. It's going to be amazing to have another little friend join us. We do have some people to save, but they are quite far away. So let's see what we got here. Hello, little seagull friend. Look at him screaming for our help. Steven, welcome. Yes, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you from this little village. Let's send a boat over to save him. Lone seagulls need friends too. Yeah, they do. Look at him. He wants to join us. There you go. He's playing home to us. Awesome. Our first little seagull. He's going to be a really good help for us. And uh, now we're just going to make sure we are filling this up with food. So what we're going to do is that we have this thing here. Taking care of our non-human friends. And we're going to have someone at the prioritize doing that. And I'm going to have maybe... Maybe Alex, you can do that. It's just a task that they fill every now and then, so it doesn't matter too much. Look at them hanging around there in the buckets. So Steven have a little bit of food. If you guys want to name our bird, by the way, feel free to do so. But Steven is going out, getting some beautiful, beautiful, good, good wood for us. One at a time, but, you know, having someone just play around and gather a little bit here and there is pretty awesome. And it's kind of cool to see some other life going around. Not only people, but also birds. And there he is sitting and sleeping. Look at these big eyes. Yo, so it looks like we're not doing too good with food today either. So let's look around and see what we can do. Real flounder. Let's see, can we do that in here now instead? Okay. We're gonna go up to do a few of those. Uh, but we should be able to do this. I think they have been too busy with something else. Let's check out the, in the priority. So these have uh, cooking duties. We have uh, jelly bean that is doing that. But maybe we need another one to do that a bit. So we ensure we have enough food. So we can have, for example, shadow can help with that. Lower that a little bit. Lower that a bit. And uh, now we should hopefully be getting more food cooked. And pollution level seems pretty okay for the moment. No, no one of them is like really, really high at the moment. So let's see what we got here. We do have some seaweed. So I'm gonna gather, gather that. Then we can make some seaweed sheets later on. Because this one do has some raw seaweed. Which can be awesome. We can make that into sheets directly. And hopefully can have some good fishes today. I'm gonna send another fisherman. Yes, we can do it a little bit quicker. Okay, we can do another solar still now. I want to have a deer, but I already used the space. And we can have another one. Let's have it over here. As far out as we can. Let's make sure we use the space as much as possible. Because we are limited about the ring we got here. That's the inside that we are able to build.
We do have some seaweed over there as well. I'm kind of leaning towards going to a new world. Could be fun, but let's make us a quick stop over here. They should have some food and a shack down over there. Some good, good food is always welcome. There's a lot of resources here. Fishes, plastic, probably some metal, food, seaweed, and wood. So I guess we're going to stop here for a while. So there we have it set up for a lot of gathering. I wonder if I disable this one. I'm kind of thinking of that because I don't want them to work if they don't have to. When we have a solar panel and if we stay for a while, we don't have really have to work to produce powers. So I think it's kind of good to turn them off from time to time. Because we don't want the animal working for no reason while we're generating power anyway, right? And let's see, I think we can maybe upgrade our houses. Didn't re research it yet. Big house. Oh, okay, we need some more metal plates. We can do that in this one. We have a lot of metal, so we may as well start to do some of that. We did upgrade this one, so we can use some electricity for this one. So it should go a little bit quicker than normal. It looks like we can have another boat, by the way. Let's get another one. Add a spot for one more. And we can upgrade one of our first houses to a big house. And that's going to be interesting to see how that's going to look. So let's take this one. Hello and Bob Haddock, you're getting a new house. There we go, and it's going to be upgraded soon. Look at that, a beautiful new homestead. A little bit of metal, and it's looking quite different. It's probably going to be able to stand out against the winds and so on a lot better, I think. But this one can have three people instead of us two living in it. So that's cool, a little bit of extra space. But guys, this is going to be it for today with Flotsam. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed, and I will be live streaming also soon again on YouTube and... Uh, it's most likely going to be later during this week, maybe on Friday, we will see. But guys, thanks for checking out, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to like, and see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Take care.